Next up, we'll have Eric Sarantola. Get your name in the chat. And we'll get started. Robbie. Eric, I know the last couple of weeks haven't gone like you wanted it, but today it just seemed like, especially after that first inning, you hit a couple of guys. It just seemed like you had much more command and a lot of confidence on the mound too. How did you assess how you went out there and attacked today? I mean, just the, the one homers, the only hit they got off of you. So it seemed like you were, you were feeling like you were in a groove out there. Yeah, no, I think the, the biggest thing, even midway through the game, um, I just, as you know, the second and third inning came around, I just, I relaxed up there. Um, and the majority, you know, my, my previous two starts, I just felt like I was always tense. Um, and, you know, going out there and, from the third inning on, I just felt like I was relaxed. I was, you know, I felt like I, I also made a, a good delivery adjustment and I just felt more loose up there. And, you know, that allowed me to, you know, get ahead of batters and, and fill up the zone better. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, I think I just, I, I stayed ahead of batters and I let my stuff kind of take over. So. Chris has talked about your, your bullpens have been really good and some of the most impressive that he's seen. It, do you feel like it's just it just boils down to not being relaxed on the mound, maybe trying to do too much? Has that been kind of a disconnect for you uh, leading up to today? Yeah, no, I, I like yeah, Lem said, my my bullpen, my midweek bullpens are really good, um, and you know Fox always talks about me like whenever he comes up to me between innings or if it's a mound visit, hey, just hey, relax, and it's it's just another bullpen, and I felt like today I I really you know relax and. I kind of made it a bullpen when I was up there. And uh, no, I mean, I, you know, Foxhall's great, um, especially, especially this week. Um, you know, we went back to, you know, spring training um, and we, I felt like, you know, I was really good. And we just tried to, to compare my last two starts to, to what I was doing in spring training. And we, we found a little, a couple things. Um, and, you know, like Lem said, we, we attacked, we attacked what we, we saw. <clears throat> And uh, I felt like this was a really good, you know, week uh, of work. So I'm, I'm glad that, you know, I got, I got out there and you know, I was able to kind of duplicate what, I, what we brought. Ben. Eric, I think it was the first in, and you can tell it was maybe a little bit of frustration after that second hit batter. Just what did you, what do you kind of do in your head to reel yourself in a little bit in those moments? How do you kind of go about, you know, attacking those, those little moments and those, those times where things might not be clicking and, and how do you feel like, you know, maybe that's, you know, maybe you've matured in those moments. Yeah, no, I, I was frustrated with, with myself just because I know it's not me. Um, you know, obviously these first couple starts weren't great and, um, but, uh, no, I just felt like I, I was better than, you know, especially the, the first two HPPs of the game and just, you know, I think it was just being tense and, and not relaxing and, um, it, it was frustrating, but at the end of the day, Fox, uh, Fox Hall always tells me, Hey, it's, it's the next pitch. You know, the previous inning doesn't matter. You know, the previous pitch doesn't matter. All you can do is control, you know, the next pitch. And, um, that's kind of the mindset I've got up there. Um, and, and I felt like today it was, uh, it was really good. And I, I stayed positive, especially after that first inning. And I, I relaxed and, you know, like I said, I, I filled it up pretty good. And, uh, yeah. John. Eric, did you think that you kind of needed to have a very good outing today in order to keep kind of that Saturday spot? How much was that in your mind and how relieving was it to, finally, you know, obviously show much improvement than, than last week. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's a huge confidence booster. I don't think it has anything to do with the spot. Um, it, it was just, it was more for me to just get out there and, you know, fill up the zone and, and do what I'm capable of. Um, Cause like I said, I felt like, you know, all spring training, I was doing a great job, um, you know, getting ahead of batters, filling it up, going where I wanted it to. Um, and it was frustrating the first, first two outings that I just, wasn't doing what I, you know, I worked, I worked really hard this off season to, to clean things up. And um, yeah, it, it was a tough first two starts, but at the end of the day, I, you know, you, you look back at, you know, last week's start, um, I wasn't, you know, there was a lot to, a lot of positive to take away from it as well. Um, I felt like, you know, my three pitches, I had good feel for them. Um, and I was just, you know, I was just missing. And obviously there, there were some big misses, um, but for the most part, I felt like I was, I was just, I was right there. Um, and, you know, just 
continue to work and I'm glad that I, I came out this weekend and you know it paid off so all right we got two more we're going to go to Steve and then Ben Eric uh, first couple of starts uh, defensively you had some guys uh, kind of boot the ball around and kind of forced you to get some extra outs today they played a really clean game behind you how much does that kind of settle you down to knowing you there's seven guys behind me with gloves on that I know we're going to make plays if there is contact and kind of allow you to pitch the contact a little bit yeah, no, it's uh, it's huge when, you know, guys make, you know, can't made that really good play. And then Lane picked me up with that, that ground ball double play in the first inning. So, it, yeah, I know you, you don't really – you want to forget about things um, when you're pitching and you just want to focus on the next pitch. But, you know, there's obviously um, that feeling behind you um, if plays aren't made. But then when plays are made, your confidence goes up. It's like, hey, you know, fill it up and my defense will have me behind. And uh, no, it, it felt really good to, you know, have a few really good plays behind me. Um, yeah, no, it was, it was a lot of fun today. Eric, it seemed like you, you took maybe just a smidge off of that fastball maybe and, and located a little bit better today. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it, it seemed like you were able to really paint the zone a little bit better with just maybe taking a little bit off it. Just how much, if at all, did that give you some, maybe a little more control in and around the zone and, and allow you to fill it up? Yeah, no, it really wasn't me taking anything off. Um, I think the, the biggest thing was just I just felt, you know, more loose up there um, in my delivery and it allowed me to be more consistent. Um, and, and that's the biggest thing. Um, it's just, you know, being being loose, being consistent and filling it up. And, um, you know, when, when things are kind of going sideways, you know, I tense up and you know, I try to force or I, I try to throw a strike instead of just relaxing and trusting in my stuff and um, and just going out there. And the, the biggest thing as well is just having fun. And uh, when, when you're struggling, sometimes you, you kind of get away from, you know, it's baseball. It's supposed to be fun. And um, I felt like after the first inning today, especially, I was I was enjoying myself more uh, up on that mound. So.